How to be a WWE 2K YouTuber. My name is Inspo Games and I have around 3,000 subscribers as of recording this. It's nothing to write home about, but it's definitely a place to be. And there's a reason that I got that far. And I'm going to tell you how you can get that far as well. And I'm going to use myself as an example along with some other people. A lot of this... Yeah. A lot of these tips apply to being a YouTuber in general. When you're watching these YouTubers, especially these WWE 2K YouTubers, you realize that there's always something unique about them. You see if they do all 2K content, you see sometimes they may have a sub-genre. Some people just do tutorials. Some people do just strictly universe mode. Some are strictly career mode. And a lot of them just play matches. So my advice is first off, pick a sub-genre. If you don't want to pick a subgenre and you want to do everything that WWE 2K has to offer, that is perfectly okay too. Just be prepared that that might not work at first, unless you have like a really rockin' personality. I currently don't necessarily have a subgenre, however my tutorial videos have amassed over 70,000 views. That is what does the best on my channel so far. The next thing you need to do is you need to learn how to edit and make a good video. Do not post a video that doesn't have a single cut in it. Awkward silences are bad unless it enhances the humor of this video. Like that one, even though it wasn't very funny. And whatever the video says, you have to deliver its promise. For example, I have a video titled WWE 2K20, but if I curse, the video ends. And guess what I did? Once I cursed, the video ended there. That's what I mean by deliver the promises. Have enthusiasm in your voice. Nobody wants to watch a guy talk like this for all their videos. If you guys are having editing issues, just know that I'm three years plus into editing and I still use iMovie. I make best of what iMovie has to give me. Next thing, learn how to make good thumbnails. Literally, if you have to use canva.com at first, go ahead and do it because that's where I started. My past thumbnails were really, really bad. Now I just have like some good ones and some bad ones. I was told that if you do not have a good thumbnail, you shouldn't even bother posting the video. Don't post a video unless you actually have a good thumbnail. Now, how did my video get 70,000 views? Well, before I can go into that, I can go into my Universe Mode tutorial series. That series has done consistently well on my channel and has helped my channel grow most of the time. Why did that happen? Well, number one, it was an original idea. I did have some inspirations with some YouTubers, but that title was an original title. Number two, it ranked in search results. I haven't been doing this as much lately, but you guys want to do videos that will rank in search results. That's why WWE 2K tutorials do so well, because people are searching for them. How to cash in money in the bank. A lot of people were searching for that, and they wanted a really, really good video. I saw some other videos popping up with that, but you you want yours to stand out, and mine did stand out. Mine delivered on all the information, and it had a decent thumbnail, and it was tagged properly so that it would rank in search. I like to use popular WWE superstars in my thumbnails. Why? Because that attracts attention. People click on it to see a popular superstar. Number two, it appeals to all audiences because everybody knows who that certain superstar is. Because I am trying to appeal to all audiences here. Even the ones that are brand new to WWE 2K. That's why some tutorials that I make might seem obvious to you guys, but to others, they weren't so obvious. I'm trying to bring new people into the game. My last tip for you is to be consistent and don't give up at all. If this is what you truly want to do, you want to play WWE 2K and record it for YouTube to see, please go for it. Listen, I've been trying to look for more creators to collab with with this game. And if I see that a lot of you guys are doing very well, I would absolutely love a collaboration. Like I said, I'm still a small YouTuber as of right now. My numbers aren't that large, but I have gotten somewhere. And that's going to be it for this video. If you guys want, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And my merch is down below if you want to pick it up. See you guys.